Hey guys, this is Intern Mike. So what we're going to be doing today, this is a Let's Craft. This is the first of the series. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be the only one in the series. It's going to be a two-parter. So what we're going to be doing today, we're in the IBF TV uh, workshop here. That's pretty new and cool. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, a pair of headphones, just any pair of headphones, you know, you know, listening to music and whatnot, you sick baits. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a 17 casing and we're going to be we're going to be replacing where the auxiliary jack, where is it? Here it is. This is your, your jack. This is what goes in your phone. And uh, we're going to put these two together, and it's going to look pretty sick. And you're going to solder everything back in place. And you're going to take your headphones. This is representing a headphone right now. So this is an iPod Touch 5 generation. It's uh, it's for sale. Check me out. So you're going to like plug it in. It's going to look pretty sick. And uh, ooh, that's close. Ooh, uh. So it's going to look pretty sick. So uh, we're going to get started here. And uh, Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, part two for the video, hold on, there's two of these. There's your 245 casings. And what we're going to be doing is replacing these with the uh, speaker housing for the headphones. And the final product is going to look like this. It's going to look pretty sick, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going we're gonna to solder on the wires. And uh, for this uh, for these set of headphones, I got them down at DG. So what you're going to do, get your own headphones. I don't care what you do. I don't even care if you make these. So what we're going to be doing... The gold wire is going to be going to your ground. That's going to be your ground. You know, it's pretty common. And it's going to be your gold. Or not gold. Sorry, this is green. Green's going to be from uh, this next one down on the bottom of the actual uh, auxiliary cord. This is going to go red. Red's going to be your hot. All right, on this top node here, this is going to be for your blue wire. And I think that's uh, that's pretty positive. And your negative is actually going to be uh, the green wire. And your red's going to be your hot. And your blue's going to be your positive. Yeah, you know, it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to solder this on. And, uh... I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Mike, and we're back. So we got everything soldered in place. Make sure you put all the white, right wires in the right places, unlike me, and uh, totally screw everything up. Make sure you also use paste flux, because uh, these aren't going to go very well together. And uh, the paste flux is going to obviously make everything stick together, make your connection better. Also, use some solder that is lead-free, because you'll be breathing it in. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, see, there it is. I was breathing in all that lead-free, or not lead-free solder right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our 17 casing where it is, because I've lost it again. There it is. It's underneath that little block. And we're going to put it on the uh, good old uh, auxiliary cord. So I'll be back when we have that done. Hey, guys, I'm back. And as you have noticed, the 17 casing is actually not back on the auxiliary cord. That's because I'm uh, fucking retarded. So what you got to do is... Make sure you put the 17 casing on the wire before you actually start the fucking project, unlike me. I gotta restart. Alright guys, so uh, I got everything uh, soldered back in focus. Got everything soldered back in place, and this time I actually have the uh, 17 casing on the wire here, so it's gonna go over, you know, the auxiliary cord, and we're gonna crimp it into place with this bench vise here. So I'll be back whenever we have that done, okay? Okay, guys, so she's done, and this is what the final product looks like, and that's pretty sick now, ain't it? So you're going to put your little headphone into the auxiliary jack. I ain't going to put it in. I only got one hand. But they do work. did test. They look pretty good. So after I crimped it on there with the bench vise, put a little bit of a crazy glue. So, so that's pretty sick, right? So there you go. You crimped that on there. The bench vice, and you put some crazy glue in the... If this would focus, it'd be great. You put it on that connection. There you go. They work. So, yeah. So, st stay tuned for part two where we uh make this part. That's pretty cool. Right? Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.